Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk all about style secrets and more specifically the style secrets of stylish women because I don't know about you but I am constantly trying to use these tips and tricks so that I can make myself feel put together every single day. So I'm going to dive right into it with the first style secret which is to repeat outfits that just make you feel absolutely amazing. There's something I've noticed a lot with really stylish women. They'll either have an outfit formula that they constantly go back to and it's very simple but they just swap out certain items so it's very subtle variations on the same look or they'll wear the exact same outfit head to toe which I'm a huge fan of and it's actually something that I'm doing today. I wore this dress yesterday but with different shoes and I loved the outfit so much and also because I am six months pregnant I thought I'm only going to be able to wear this for a limited amount of time so I'm getting as much use out of it as I can before my baby bump is a little bit too big but that is the first style secret and definitely one that I think that you should use if you find an outfit that you look and I'd recommend taking photos on your phone of the outfits that you really love so you can easily refer back to them at any time. The second style secret is to incorporate jewelry pieces that really complement or lift your outfit. And this part of the video is sponsored by Majuri and you may know how much I love Majuri. I've been wearing their pieces for years and years and actually I did a collaboration with them about four years ago now where we co-designed a pair of earrings, the loop earrings if you remember. They're still available now and I will have links down below to my edit which features all of my favorite pieces from the brand. But what I love about it is that they have really affordable and easily accessible fine jewelry which is so stunning for day to day and I've decked myself out in my jewelry jewelry today so I've got a few pieces on which I thought I would share with you starting with the organic pearl hoops you will have seen me wearing these a lot in my what I wear in a week videos they are probably my favorite pearl drop earrings I think they are just stunning really they're very elegant very timeless and I think they really lift an outfit especially one that's more casual but they're perfect for an evening look as well on my right hand I've got a couple of the rings here so I've got the beaded ring and I've also got the diamonds open ring just stacked and I love that these are so dainty I could add a few more rings I could actually also put them on my ring finger on my left hand with my engagement and wedding band if I really wanted and then on my wrist I've also worn the dome bracelet which is a really lovely weighty kind of a bangle there's actually a croissant dome bracelet as well which I'm gonna pop a picture up of on screen because that one is really fun if you want a little bit more detail and you want something that makes more of a statement because your outfits a bit more paired back if I was wearing a simple shirt I'd probably go for something that was a bit bolder I've also paired that with the Rolo bracelet, which is a beautiful chain bracelet, which has a little black beaded charm at the clasp. And I will show you close-ups of all of these pieces on so you can get a better look, including some of my other favorites. You will have seen me wear my editor hoops so, so much. And I also really love the diamond necklace as well because it's got two lengths. So you can wear it slightly lower or slightly higher so it almost just sits on your collarbone. And I feel like that's a really nice dainty one when you are wearing an outfit that kind of is doing the most. So you just need something really fine and simple to pair it with. So as you can see, my dress that I'm wearing today is this huge ruffle. So because of that, I want my jewelry to kind of work harmoniously with what I'm wearing. So I've opted not to wear a necklace. Instead letting this big ruffle detail be the I guess embellishment around my neckline and across my shoulders and then I've chosen to adorn my you know fingers my wrist and also my ears with beautiful jewelry pieces so that is my second tip the pieces I'm wearing are all made from gold verme which means that they are sterling silver coated with 18 karat gold as I mentioned I will leave links to my edit on Majuri down below in the description box if you'd like to go and check them out as well as a bit more information about the brand and also uh, so you can learn a bit more about the different materials that they use across all of their jewelry pieces. Style secret number three is to plan your outfits the night before. Now I will admit I'm not always the best at doing this but when I do I always feel so much better about what I'm wearing. I feel like it's so much more put together, it feels so much more considered and thought out. So if I've got something really important what I tend to do is have a little bit of a look through my wardrobe the night before, I'll have a think about how I want to pair my outfit and then I've got it done. I don't even need to try it on, I will just visualize it and again if you've been taking photos of outfits that you really like you can always refer back to that as a really simple or easy kind of I guess library or catalogue of looks that you feel amazing in if you're in a pinch. 
The next tip is to mix high end with the high street. There's a saying that money doesn't buy you style and I think that you can find great pieces at every single price point depending on your budget. My big tip here is to think about longevity and how long you were going to have it in your wardrobe. Is it something you're going to wear to your, till it's threadbare? That's sort of my rule of thumb when it comes to buying things from the high street as opposed to buying something that's a little bit more of an investment. If you do want to splurge without spending the designer price tag, I'd highly recommend looking at the pre-loved market, the real, real eBay, Vestia Collective, Fashion File, all of those sorts of websites are great resources and a really great way to add some quality pieces to your wardrobe. But I find that this is a secret that a lot of really stylish women use. So they'll be wearing something from, say, Cos or from And Other Stories, and they've paired it with, say, a really beautiful leather jacket from Acne, which is much more premium and high end. Then their shoes might be from Mango, and then their jeans are redone. So they've got a really sort of big mix of brands and also price points, but ends up looking really put together and chic. So that is a really good tip to stick by, sort of think about how you can, I guess, really jazz up your high street pieces with high end ones and vice versa. The next secret is to get your clothing altered for a bespoke fit. Now, I don't know about you, but I find a lot of the time off the rack, clothing doesn't necessarily always fit you the way you want it to. It could be that you find a really beautiful pair of trousers and they are the perfect fit around the hips, but the waist is just too big and you can't go down a size because they're going to be too tight in the thigh. The best way to kind of get around that is to actually get them tapered in at the waist at a tailor and they can do a really good job of tailoring items so that they fit you perfectly and they look like they were made for you. And this is actually a really great way to also make your outfit look more expensive and it's something I would recommend doing regardless of the price point of the item. Just incorporate that additional cost of tailoring into the price point or into your budget when you are out and about shopping. I quite often like to get my trousers tailored because I do have a shorter inseam and so I want them to sort of hit me at a very specific point because I find that most flattering and the best way to do that is at a tailor. If you have the sewing skills you could easily do this yourself as well. Another thing that I have done in the past is also get waist taken in on skirts that are maybe a little bit too big for me. Uh, just say I found a really beautiful skirt, it was on sale, it had been on my wish list for forever but they only had the size up from a usual size. I would usually kind of consider whether or not it is worth taking it to a tailor to get taken in uh, for the perfect fit for me. The next style secret is to focus on fit rather than the actual size that's printed on the clothing tag. The reason why I say this is because every single brand has their own sizing guidelines so you're going to find that the size that you need will vary from store to store. I find that there's a lot of discrepancies whenever I'm shopping so I focus solely on how I want the item to fit. Do I want to get a really oversized sweater or do I want something that's a little bit more snug? And that will also determine what sizes I actually take with me into the changing room. I find that it can be really easy to get hung up on the numbers and it's something that I personally try to shift away from because I really don't think that it's important. The thing that's important is how it looks on you and how you feel when you're wearing the item. Like is it the perfect fit for you or not? And one thing I will say especially when you are shopping online is to just look at the measurements. Have a measuring tape handy and use that as your guideline as opposed to the actual sizes that you generally think that you are. This is the best way to get the ideal fit for you and as I mentioned before you may need to get items tailored slightly so that they fit you perfectly but this will be the best way to have an incredible shopping experience and also end up with clothing that you really love and that you feel really stylish and really good in. One thing I've really noticed about stylish women is that they just know how to dress for their figure. So the next style secret is to know what styles suit you. I've done a few videos on how to look taller and in them I've actually mentioned all of the tips that I use to make sure that I balance out my proportions because I have a longer torso and shorter legs. So I personally really like to wear things that are high waisted and I also use the trick of fitted and loose. So there needs to be a bit of balance. So if I'm wearing something that's really kind of fitted on top, I will opt for something that's a bit more relaxed on my lower half and vice versa. To me, this just makes an outfit look a little bit more polished, a little bit more put together and a little bit more sophisticated. 
Obviously there are instances where I do break that style rule, but that's just a general guideline that I personally tend to use. So getting a good sense of what looks great on you and then using that as a guideline for how to get dressed every day will make you feel really stylish and also make you feel just really great about what you've got on, what you're wearing and what is in your wardrobe. This next style secret I took to the nth degree when I was a university student. I would wear heels to uni, which I just think is absolutely crazy now when I think back on it, but it is to dress up when in doubt. For me, I would rather be the most overdressed person in the room as opposed to the most underdressed person. So when in doubt, just put in a little bit of extra effort. You'll end up looking fabulous, even if you are a little bit overdressed. The final thing that I've noticed that stylish women do is that they really invest in classic items in their wardrobe. So they have these core pieces that they wear over and over again. It might just be a really beautiful coat from Max Mara, which is timeless and that you're going to wear for the rest of your life. It could be an incredible pair of boots from Saint Laurent or something like that. But I've just noticed that really stylish women tend to invest in those timeless pieces that are sort of the core basics of their wardrobe. And then they will build in some statement items that really help to jazz up their outfit or make it look a little bit more special and a bit more done up. So I would recommend maybe allocating 75% of your clothing budget to focusing on those basic classic pieces that you'll have forever and then the other 25% you can use to play around with and perhaps look at buying a couple of more fun or statement items that will really complement what you've got but also make your entire wardrobe feel a lot more fresh. So those are the style secrets that I've noticed that fashionable women use. I hope that you found this helpful and I would love to know if there are any other style secrets that you have noticed down in the comment section below. Thanks again to Majuri for sponsoring part of this video. As mentioned, I will leave a link to my edit on the Majuri website down in the description box if you would like to go and check them out. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video and thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.